can restore the power okay. from there. Oh hi. It's been six days since we lost Matt. Let's go get me a pack of chips at the cafeteria. <clears throat> Cafeteria. Meeting room. Is the cafeteria in here? Offered shows. Koi, he is back at the other facility. Excuse me, God. You will chop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, God. Oh, good. What's up? Yeah, uh, I was wondering. Is there a cafeteria around here? No, but this is something SCP-001. So, uh, can you get me a packet of chips, please? Sure, no problem. I'll be right back. Cool. Do you like cider and vinegar? Yes. Cool. Here you go. Cool. Thanks. See you, kid. See SCP-001. See ya. Man.
Let's eat. Oh, oh. Those chips were good. Press play. Let's have a join. I guess it's time to go back to, you know. Fuck, there's heaps of guys here. Fucking A. Shoei, shoei. Yo! Fucking wait. Sure. Sure. Let's head to my room. Here we are, this is, this is my place. Good night. Good night, scientist. Hey, it's seven in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is there gonna be another scientist shining with me soon? Yeah, pretty much. That's why there's two. Cool. Let's head to the courtyard for the SCP. Hey, hey. Push pie. Recordings of SCP three zero five show that it remains. 
remain stationary at all times. Which I would join. Have another join. Go watch SCP three zero three, the doorman, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. SCP three zero three, object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. As SCP-303 has not yet been known to travel beyond the boundaries of site, the entire area of said location is currently considered SCP-303's containment area. All rooms in site are to be altered where possible so as to have two entrances separated by a distance of 10 meters or line of sight. Personnel are to be distributed evenly throughout the facility with available radio or intercom contact, so that encounters may be resolved quickly. Personnel who witness SCP-303 are to be submitted for immediate psychiatric evaluation. All SCP objects housed at Site B since before 6410 are to be transferred to Site B, one at a time. Each SCP object will be transferred again to Site A once it can be verified. That SCP-303 has not migrated from Site with it. Once SCP-303 either migrates to Site B or remains present at Site once all SCPs in question have been transferred to Site A, containment procedures will be updated as appropriate. 
Description. Witnesses describe SCP-303 as a nude, sexless, emaciated humanoid figure with reddish-brown skin. Instead of normal facial features, its head is dominated by an extremely large mouth, which bears a set of oversized human teeth. It continually vocalizes a wheezing noise. Your experience is intense, paralyzing fear that lasts until SCP-303 dematerializes, either on its own or to avoid being directly seen by another observer. The source of this fear is not clear, but appears to be similar in nature to arachnophobia and aphidiophobia, originating on a pre-conscious genetic level. Data expunged. Analysis indicates that SCP-303 is not, in fact, purposefully inducing fear in the affected individuals. SCP-303 does not allow itself to come into direct visual contact with any observer. It has never allowed any one individual to view more than 10% of its form. When the door or other entryway barrier is partially or completely transparent, SCP-303 will materialize in an orientation that leaves 10% or less of its body visible, or cause effects of fog or frost on the transparent surface to achieve the same effect. If SCP-303 is approached from a direction in which there is not a solid object or door breaking light, device produce sufficient light to completely illuminate the area of squared at 16,145 lux for several hours. Applying a lighter to the surface of the glass relit the solution completely. Experiment 3. Usage as an incendiary device. Materials. 200 milliliters of SCP-2951. Glass globe. Procedure. Globe filled with SCP-2951 and thrown into wooden test structure. Result. All material that came in contact with SCP-2951 instantly combusted, as expected. Remaining structure of the building burned abnormally quickly from secondary conflagration. Only 20% of the structure's initial mass remained after testing. Note. Immediately following the conclusion of the test, approximately 56% of captive SCP-295 specimens began to pupate. Dr. Con- Isaac! Yeah, watch out. It's time to do some testing. Follow me. Got it. This way. Down here. Shit. So, what we're going to do today? The surprise. Fair enough. Down here. This one here. Get in. Go through there. Fair enough. Hide there. Are you going to attack me? Come on.
Come on, guy. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck it. Where is that fucking SCP? Where is that fucking SCP? What you doing? <sighs> Killing the fucking SCP. Well, where is that fucking SCP? It is going down. Well, is that SCP, that SCP is going down. Hi, you motherfucker. Remember me? Well, you might, you may not, but I'm going to kill your bitch ass anyway. <clears throat> Fucking hell. You know what? Fuck that SCP. I'm not gonna even try to fucking kill it. It cannot die. So, may as well head out of the fucking courtroom. Cold shot area and smoke and fucking watch YouTube can may as well fuck that SCP fuck that SCP elevator. Yes. Okay, go here. Up here. Then all the way up until here. Then let's go out in the courtyard. Fuck that SCP. Press play. Experiment four. Usage as lighter fluid. Materials. 100 milliliters of SCP-2951. One bag of consumer grade charcoal, mid range coal grill, two beef burger patties. Procedure SCP 2951 poured onto coal while beef patties are prepared. Result Data expunged. Note I cannot fathom the lack of sense this required. Consider your position as an assistant terminated and your security level revoked. I hope that gives you something to think about in between skin grafts. Dr. Kondraki. Addendum 295. Joint. Experiment log 2951B. Experiment log of Agent T. Testing practical uses of SCP-2951. Oh, should I? With great flavor and 50% less fat, say yes to the huh. skin's oven bait. <sighs> what a sweet. Let's make Fuck off, Edge. Experiments overseen and approved by Dr. Date undisclosed. Experiment 1. Usage as lighter fluid. Revised. Materials. 1 milliliter of 
SCP-2951. 500 grams consumer grade charcoal. In range coal grill. Two 100 gram beef burger patties. Procedure. Coals arranged as standard rough cone. SCP-2951 applied to three coals. Tester wore standard silver suit heat protection gear. Result. The treated coals combusted almost instantly, as expected. Remaining coals ignited very quickly. Patties cooked in approximately half expected time. Cooked patties, when tested in laboratory, showed no evidence of any unusual components. Note. As expected, the secondary fires produce only normal combustion products and effects. And to whoever came up with the first lighter fluid test, you people are supposed to be research assistants. Perhaps next time you should do some research when you design a test. Dr. Kondraki oh. let you off easy. Agent T. Experiment 2. Possible application for rescue work. Materials. 1 D-class personnel. 1 steel girder. 1 milliliter of SCP-2951. 20 grams thermite paste. Procedure. Class D's leg trapped under girder. A line of thermal. We're touch something else now. But that's that watch time. Let's watch this now. Item number SCP 294. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. There are no standard special containment procedures on file for item SCP-294. However, only personnel of security clearance level 2 or higher are allowed to interact with it. SCP-294 is currently being stored in the second floor personnel break room and is monitored by two guards of security clearance level 3 at all times. Description. Item SCP-294 appears to be a standard coffee vending machine. The only noticeable difference being an entry touchpad with buttons corresponding to an English QWERTY keyboard. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid using the touchpad. Upon doing so, a standard 12-ounce paper oh. drinking cup is placed. But materials such as diamond have failed, however, as it appears that SCP-294 can only... Item number, SCP-294, object class, Euclid, special containment procedures, there are no standard special containment procedures on file for item SCP-294, however, only personnel of security clearance level 2 or higher are allowed to interact with it, SCP-294 is currently being stored in the second floor personnel break room and is monitored by two guards of security clearance level 3 at all times. Description. Item SCP-294... SCP-001! The only... Ready for testing? Yeah, whatever. I better not be dealing with that fucking demon. You mean Bodhi? Or who who was it? You mean uh SCP What was that number SCP? There's heaps of SCP, so it's hard to keep track. I understand. You mean... This SCP? 
Yeah, that fucking one. That asshole. Obviously, you did it in your past life. Yeah. And it killed me. This time we'll be doing the old guy. 106. Go in. You know what to do, kid. Yeah, okay. Can you, like... Oh. Good luck. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come and get me, you son of a bitch. Do it. Do it. Well, here we are. The fuck? Oh, hell no. There is heaps of them there. Go, go, one. One. You know what? No. Oh hi. Then Then too. Oh fuck. I'm going to go in the courtyard. Courtyard. It's chill here, my guy. Press play and have a join. May be opened or closed are present on the wall. Their purpose shall be elaborated upon later. When a living animal, human or otherwise, is laid in the coffin, dead organisms, organisms with a mass of less than 1.6 kilograms, and groups of multiple organisms triggered in 100 seconds is nearly impossible. Objects that maintain a constant speed inside the active field for a similar time are nearly impossible to slow or stop. Let's have Thus, another join. All experiments should conclude before this threshold time is reached. <coughs> in the event that an object becomes irretrievable, researchers may petition Dr. to have the object returned after SCP-289 is moved to its new enclosure during monthly transfer protocol and the requested object's inertia has returned to standard levels. Transfer of SCP-289 from holding area alpha to holding area beta or back is to be performed every 30 days. During this procedure, 